For every touchdown and every gritty that I hit in this game, I can add a 99 overall to Team Gritty and then simulate an entire NFL season to see if we can win the Super Bowl. And a huge shout out to RBT for the video inspiration for this one. Make sure to go check out his channel in the description down below. One six minute quarter game is all we got and I'm not going to be playing any defense in this. My defense is going to have to make some stands. Kirk Cousins looking for his man Justin Jefferson. And Jefferson dropped that. Our defense made a great first day in two. We get the ball at the 48-yard line of the Steelers. Jefferson makes that catch. That's a huge start. And now TJ Watt's going to sack us. Not the way I wanted to start after that first catch. I'm going to Justin Jefferson again. This time he catches that. He doesn't hold on to the other one. But Justin Jefferson picks up the first down with the craziest catch we might see today in this video. Now we give the ball to Mixon and he'll take it to about the 16. And Jamar Chase. These are guys that can only hit the gritty in this game so these are the only guys we can use to score. Can we get it to DJ Chark? <laughs> DJ Chark! Hit our first gritty, DJ Chark. Our first gritty in the first quarter. We're adding a 99 overall. The first 99 overall I'm going to go with is one of the best defensive players of all time. 99 overall, Aaron Donald. So our first 99 has been added. Aaron Donald's on the team. Now we look for more and we fumble. Oh, no. It doesn't really matter if we fumble or not. It only matters if we score touchdowns. I am, however, going to put Kirk Cousins on conservative. I don't want him to fumble anymore, but I want Justin Jefferson to keep making catches. And this is on all pro as well. I don't think we've hit Jamar yet. We went to the post to Jefferson. Now the post to Jamar. Post routes over the middle have been money so far. I see another one coming right here. Jamar Chase takes it down to the five-yard line. Kirk Cousins having himself a first quarter right now. Maybe Justin Jefferson. We have him with Chark. Jefferson, the zig route, the touchdown, hit the gritty, and we add another 99 overall to the roster. We're going to pick up the best left tackle in the NFL right now, 99 overall Trent Williams. This is going better than I thought right now. There's only four 99 overall players in the entire game. And Justin Jefferson over the top again. What a catch. If we score more than four touchdowns, we'll have to go into the 98 overall players, which it definitely looks like we're going to do because we're only in the second quarter. And Justin Jefferson, he has double me. Something that doesn't catch that one, I don't understand. But we are going to run out of 99 overalls here. DJ Chark, though, going to be wide open. Bang! Kirk Cousins throwing dimes out here. A second gritty for DJ Chark and our next 99 overall. Big fan of Mike Kosicki's gritty, don't get me wrong, but we need the best tight end in the NFL right now. 99 overall Travis Kelsey's joining the team. Kirk Cousins is really impressing me right now. The offensive line is playing good, too, and we have Jefferson over the top. Secure the catch. Justin Jefferson, he's got to be well over 100 yards right now. We need one more player to get a gritty that's actually in the game, and that is Jamar Chase, but we hit Joe Mixon out of the backfield too. Everything's basically been hurry up offense, and that's exactly what we're going to do again. And I see Jamar Chase possibly get it. That's unfortunate. Up until that point, we were rolling. Sadly, Kirk Cousins going to get hit just a bit, and that's going to result in a pick six. But we get back maybe into good field position here with Leonard Ford. It picking up 21 yards. So I take a shot to Jefferson deep again. He's been on fire with the high ball passes. Oh, we get sacked. We did pick it apart this Steelers defense a little bit. It's only a matter of time. I'm not surprised they're starting to play well right now. And that will get Justin Jefferson X-factored up. Can we successfully double team? TJ Watt, we can't. But Kirk Cousins rolls out of the pocket. Great pocket presence right there. Delivers a football to Justin Jefferson. They're going crazy right now. We got to get the touchdown to Chase. <laughs> Kirk, you can't do that to me. I played on conservative too. The only bright side to that is that that does not result in us losing a 99 overall, and they score right away, which means we get the ball right away. Two fumbles and costly times, though, for Cousins. Can't have the offensive line fall apart right now, and I desperately need them. Jefferson, he's going to be two on one. Oh, I thought he still was going to catch it. I need the O-line to hold up. Don't fail me now. We still have a lot of 99s or high-rated players to earn here, and they're going to make a stand on third down. It's fourth and three. After scoring three quick touchdowns, we are running into some trouble here. We got to pick up this first. We have one more time. I'll have to use it right away. Jefferson, open. Get out of bounds. That's perfect. Field goals do nothing here. It's touchdowns or bust. And TJ Watt is making his presence felt now. I jinxed myself talking about the difficulty. Steelers had the momentum bar at max after us having three great drives in a row. We got lucky that time we got hit as we threw. Because that ball was underthrown, Jamar Chase was actually able to come back to the football 
grab it and go downfield a little bit. This time, get it to Jamar. Go oh, no, Jamar, not Jamar. It's Justin Jefferson, but a great grab right there. We'll take it. Can we go deep to Jamar Chase? Oh, he has a step on Minka Fitzpatrick, and we're finally back in the touchdown column. Our final gritty member that we needed to actually get one in this game. The final 99 overall we are going to take is going to be Miles Garrett, a top two defensive player in the entire NFL. So we've gotten all four 99 overalls. Now we can work into the 98s. How many more touchdowns can we score? If we can score two more, I'll feel pretty confident about our chances because we already have a lot of elite wide receivers on this team. What we'll have to upgrade next, we will have to see. Let's see. Justin Jefferson. One-on-one. -on -one. You're not going to stay with Justin Jefferson. And he breaks the tackle. We haven't got the ball to Mike Kosicki yet. So let's get him one. Mike Kosicki with a strong catch right there. Everybody else had a catch that's on this team from the beginning. DJ Chark might have a step. Oh, no, he doesn't. But did we get rough in the passer? This is a huge penalty. Holding on the offense. Are they going to drop us back to third and 13 or make it fourth down? Because I'm going for it. I'd rather be fourth and three. Thank you. Yeah, obviously, no. We had to go for it here. Justin Jefferson has a ton of room. A quick slant. <laughs> Route running is elite. And not only are we going to pick up the first, we are going to pick up another Bengals touchdown. Justin Jefferson. Is that his third of the game? Or is that a second? Either second or third of the game for Justin Jefferson. The next player we're going to take is Patrick Mahomes, who's not normally a 99. He's a 98 overall, but with the morale boost, he's going to go up to a 99 anyway. Five touchdowns now. Maybe time for two more if we're lucky, if we don't turn the ball over. But I am happy with the bounce back that we had so far in the second half. Scoring two touchdowns that we needed. Joe Mixon couldn't be more wide open. And we'll take the yards. Kirk Cousins, very close to being over 500 yards passing. And the fourth quarter has just begun. And we're going to get picked. Oh, that's a bad read by me. That was the first one I would say that was really, really on me. Steelers have all the momentum again. TJ Watts kind of come flying at us. We might have to just dink and dunk down the field. We just get some time to throw. DJ Chark is open. I want to get it to Chark. Mika Fitzpatrick couldn't keep up with him. And DJ Chark is going to take it all the way to the end zone. We need a big play. We needed that after two straight interceptions. And DJ Chark gets it for another touchdown. And the final player we're going to take here, I'm going to go with another offensive lineman with the morale boost as well. Zach Martin's going to go up to a 99 overall on this team. We will get to touch the ball again. And we have the ball at the 48 after a good kick return. Can we deliver with one more touchdown? The one minute drill with two timeouts. 49 seconds. It all comes down to this. Jamar Chase, and it's a fourth down. Her cousin's thrown for 600 yards, six touchdowns, and four picks. Is that a good game? Let me know in the comments down below with all the interceptions that he threw. And we're going to turn it over on downs. I think that's going to be it. Probably not going to see the ball again. Unless they tied and we go to OT. Nope, that's it. I got five seconds to score. Five seconds. We do have the ball, though, at the 49. Jamar Chase, if we get lucky, with a post over the top. I'm not going to complain. Here comes TJ Watt, and we go down. And that'll do it. We score six touchdowns in this game. Very curious to see the stats very quickly. We'll check out the receiving stats here. Jefferson, 292 yards receiving, which is insane. Jamar Chase at 117. He has one touchdown. Chark had three touchdowns, 109 yards. But Jefferson, 12 receptions for almost 300 yards and two touchdowns. And here is Team Gritty going into this NFL season. Quarterback, 99 overall, Patrick Mahomes. We have Justin Jefferson at the wide receiver one, obviously, and Jamar Chase at wide receiver two, with DJ Chark as wide receiver three, Joe Mixon and Leonard Fournette in the backfield. Trent Williams at the left tackle is going to be a super essential piece of this team, and Zach Martin at the right guard. If that wasn't overpowered enough, we also have Travis Kelsey, 99 overall tight end. And then on the defensive side of the ball, we have Jair as our cornerback one with our new additions in Aaron Donald and Miles Garrett. Let's see if we can win the Super Bowl. These Cincinnati Bengals at midseason are 5-2. Pretty solid record. I did expect a little bit better though. 6-1, maybe even 7-0 with this team. Mahomes is third in the NFL though in passing guards. 14th in touchdowns though, surprisingly. 13 touchdowns. Three picks, maybe some rushing touchdowns for Mixon and Fournette. 2,200 yards. Let's go ahead and take a look at the rushing stats. Yeah, seven touchdowns for Leonard Fournette. That's probably why Mahomes is low in the touchdown category this year. 34 rushes, 121 yards, but the leading rusher for this team 
is Joe Mixon with 412. Then for the receiving numbers, we have Jefferson leading the team with 603 yards and three touchdowns. DJ Chark has eight touchdowns for this team. Eight gritties from DJ Chark. 556 yards receiving. Jamar Chase almost 500 yards and Kelsey not at 300. The Bengals went from 5-2 and two to not losing another game the entire season. They finished 15-2 and two with the number one seed in the entire NFL. No doubt in my mind that Mahomes is probably going to walk away with the MVP here. Almost 5,300 yards, 44 touchdowns, 14 picks on the ground. Joe Mixon also a 1,000 yard rusher with 1,200 yards, 7 touchdowns. Leonard Fournette was a touchdown machine. 17 touchdowns for Leonard Fournette. So if we total all of these rushing touchdowns and Mahomes throwing touchdowns this year, we have 70 total touchdowns on offense from this team. The leading receiver for this team, let me know in the comments down below if you predicted this one. DJ Chark, almost 1,400 yards, a little above Justin Jefferson. So it was very close. They both had 101 catches. DJ Chark with 16 touchdowns. Jefferson with 14. Jamar Chase got over 1,000 yards receiving with four touchdowns too. And Kelsey had 7-11. The Bengals will face a 9-8 Chiefs team in the divisional round. I'm pretty surprised the Chiefs made the playoffs with no Mahomes and no Kelsey. So props to them. We will go ahead and super sim all of the playoff games here. And then once we get to the championship game and the Super Bowl game, we will jump in for some red zone opportunities and stuff like that. As long as they make it there, because this is a closed game. They finally take a two possession lead, but the Chiefs answer 31 to 17. Is it going to become close? It's a one score game. The Chiefs have the ball too. We'll slow this one up with a chance to tie. Who even is the Chiefs quarterback? It's fourth and 15. It's Kirk Cousins. Kirk Cousins, I guess they got traded over to the Kansas City Chiefs. I did not manually do that. They're going to punt it with three timeouts. I thought this was going to be for the game. A chance to end it here for the Cincinnati Bengals. They pick up the first down. The timeouts are coming off the board. Another first down would end it. We have a second and short, I believe. We're going to jump in here. No, it's first and 10, actually. The clock isn't running. Okay, timeout was called. They can't stop the clock with about like 30 seconds left. With two timeouts remaining, Mixon's going to lose some yards there on first. We have a second and nine for Mahomes and the Bengals here. Up seven. Chiefs have one more timeout. They can call that after this play. The give us to Mixon. No surprise there. Mixon, he picks up the first down. The timeouts won't even matter. It is officially victory formation here in Cincinnati. The Bengals will be going back to the AFC Championship game. But with the twist this year, they're going to be having Patrick Mahomes on their team. And they are going to host the AFC Championship. And for the AFC Championship, it is Bills going to Cincinnati. Regardless what team Patrick Mahomes is on, he cannot avoid Josh Allen. Here we go. AFC Championship. Bills are going to get on the board first. But the Bengals answer right away. A turnover by the Bills. And it's 14-7 Cincinnati here. 21-7. to Bills do answer. We have a seven-point game. We're going to jump in here. We got first and 10 from the Bills. 14. A touchdown here would be huge. We're in the rain, too. Holmes, he'll drop back. He's got plenty of time. Trent Williams and Zach Martin. And then finally going to get sacked by Vaughn Miller. Vaughn Miller's back, and he sacks Patrick Mahomes. And the smart move here, the Bengals will elect for the field goal. Oh, they're going to fake it. No way they're faking this. And Evan McPherson's going to run it. And what kind of play calling is that? The Bills are going to take over. Why would they fake that? The Bengals don't make the Super Bowl after that. Okay, never mind. The Bills turn it over. They get the ball, and then they score a touchdown. Okay, never mind. Can we jump in again? I was going to say, if that ruins them from going to the Super Bowl, Zach Taylor's going to have to get fired after that one. I don't know why they would fake a fourth and short to take a 10-point lead field goal and then have Evan McPherson run it. Joe Mixon can run it, though. Joe Mixon basically untouched until he gets to about the one-yard line, and we are first and goal from the one. The gritty team is looking to take a three-possession lead here with the touchdown and pretty much ice this AFC Championship game. Mahomes, Mixon, again, Mixon, end zone, touchdown. And this game is over. 42 to 20 is going to be the final here in Cincinnati. Very curious to see who we're going to meet in the Super Bowl. The Super Bowl will be decided against the Philadelphia Eagles. Let's see who's taking home that Lombardi trophy. Is it going to be the Eagles or the Gritty team? 3 0. 10 0 already. We like to see it. 17 to nothing. The Eagles finally get on the board, though. These drives are stolen now. 17 7 for a while. Eagles have a chance. I'm going to jump in here. We're going to jump in on the field to make it a one possession game. They're third and four from the 27 yard line. Worst case, they make it a one possession game with a field goal here. But Jalen Hurts can easily pick this up and try to work for the touchdown. He goes to, I think, Dallas Goddard. Yes, Dallas Goddard to pick up the first. Aaron Donald or Miles Garrett's going to have to make a play. You see Miles Garrett on the edge. Aaron Donald inside. Third and three. Someone make a play here. Jalen Hurts had all day to throw, and it's A.J. Brown, who's going to step up for this Bengals defense right now. 
Phillies threatening from the four. Miles Sanders untouched with a three-point game. The Bengals, they're second and five now from the six-yard line. A three-point lead. Can they make it back to a two-possession game? We're seeing a lot of running, though, in this video. Not a lot of throwing. The gives... Oh, it's actually a play action. I thought it was going to mix in. And he's going to hit. Is that Travis Kelsey? No, that's Mike Kosicki. What are they going to do? They're going to kick the three. Are they going to fake it for some reason? Or will they go for the three to take a six-point lead? Nope. The kick is up. And it's good. Six-point lead. 20 to 14. Bengals are driving. First and 10 from the 25. If they score, this is huge. Five-yard reception for Jamar Chase. Incomplete pass. Big third down. Even a field goal, though, would make it a nine-point game. With 11 minutes remaining in the Super Bowl, this is a huge drive. Biggest drive so far of the game. Mahomes, third and five. He's obviously going to pass. He's looking for Jamar Chase, and Darius Slay is just locking down Jamar Chase. Make it a nine-point game. Here we go. Why are they faking it? Oh, and they had him. They had him. Is that Trent Williams going out for a route right there? Why are they faking it with a chance to go up nine points? That is so dumb. And they almost had it if he didn't get overthrown. That is crazy. And here comes Philly. First and 10 from the 27. Angle second and 10 from the Eagles. 14 are now third and three. We jump in again. A touchdown is huge with three minutes remaining. Eagles do have all three timeouts. The Eagles are looking to hold in the three. This is the biggest play of the game right here. A first down is huge. Mahomes. He's got Mixon wide open. He goes to Mixon. Joe Mixon. He cannot fight enough for the first down. It's fourth and inches. Now, this is a huge play call. And they're not wasting any time. They're back on the field here. They have to snap before the two-minute warning. Fourth and inches. Is Mahomes going to pass or is it going to Mixon? He's dropping back. He's looking for Justin Jefferson who makes the catch at the one. What a play call. What a catch. Now they look for the run, I would imagine. On first and goal from the one, it's Joe Mixon. And I think that's going to be the dagger. I think this team's going to win the Super Bowl. And let's just go ahead now and simulate to the end because your Super Bowl champions are the Cincinnati Bengals, the gritty team. We got six touchdowns and it's six high overall players to this team. And we wind up walking away with a Super Bowl championship. And now it's time to hoist the Lombardi Trophy. Patrick Mahomes for the gritty team. In a Cincinnati Bengals uniform. I know Chiefs fans are not happy to see it. But the Bengals, the gritty team, are your Super Bowl champions. That's going to do it for the video, everyone. If you enjoyed it, do me a favor. Hit the like button. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. In the comments down below, let me know what challenge, what video do you want to see next. Peace.